Hey guys, my name is Khan and you are watching Trading Hub. In this video, I am going to show you exactly which order block actually work and which order block is not work. So this video is a very important. I am not talking about the general order block. I am talking about the high probability and order block and how we can identify them. Once market breaks the structure, then you can see multiple order block. Then most of the traders confuse which order block you should use for the buy and sell. So I will explain you all about these things in a details that which order block actually work and which is high probability and which is a low probability, right? So I will show you everything in a details step by step. So right now you can see here these are three position which is a first is nine hour, second eleven hour, and third five hour, which is almost. 25 hour trades which is I took based on the order block and liquidity and some other concept but main thing is a order block and how we can identify them and these are live trade which is uh, running in a profit so I will show you some interesting thing that how you can identify which is actually work or which is not let me switch into the chart so in this picture you can see there are three picture different different types of order block so most of the traders confuse when market gave a break of structure for example market is a bearish something like this okay then what happened after this most of the traders looking for the sell correct so in this first case which is our high probability order block okay and you can see last buying candle before the sell is our order block and this is a general theory about the order block when market is a bearish then looking for the last buying candle before the sell which is actual give a momentum for the downside so in this case you can see this is a not a last buying candle before the sell correct so where is our high probability zone where is our high probability order block for the sell some people mark this as a order block and they trying to sell here okay and they put the stop loss just above it and looking for the sell then what happened market push higher gave us some little bit reaction and then push higher and then push our downside after hit the stop loss now let's switch onto the extreme point and now you can see where is our order block and most of the traders mark this order block is here why because this is a last buying candle before the sell move and they mark this is a order block for the sell but they don't mark the entire order block is here but in reality this blue candle is not order block your order block is here this is a last buying candle because this candle taken out the previous high like this okay so in this case you can see market taken out the previous high and this become our order block and this is our high probability order block for the sell and at this point we can sell here and put the stop loss just above it if you are trying to mark this order block and then you are trying to putting the stop loss just above this this is a blue line okay then most of the time what happened market push higher and just sweep the stop loss and then push downside correct so correct order block is here okay in this case this is a not high probability order block this is a uh, you can say a smart money trap also because new smart money traders looking here for the sell okay so this is a first scenario in the bearish market now let's switch into the another diagram this one is here so where is our high probability order block in this case okay and same thing happen here market break the structure so first is where is the last buying candle before the sell okay so this one is a first last buying candle before the sell so this order block is high probability or not okay think about it this is actually high probability order block why because it took out the previous candles high and before become a high probability order block order block must be taken out the previous high or low to confirm the proper order block so in this case you can see market taken out the previous high candle and then close blow it and this is a last buying candle before the sell so we can sell here also 
this is the first area of interest when we can take for the take a sell entry and the next entry on the extreme point which is here okay and in this case you can see same thing happen here market taken out the previous high and close below it and this candle become our last buying candle before the sell and you can see this is our high probability order block so these two order block is a high probability and one more thing in a order block you have to remember three things first thing market must be taken out the previous swing high or low candle okay then become a high probability order block and second thing market must be imbalance okay if imbalance is a a proper imbalance is here then this is a high probability if imbalance is not available here then this is already mitigated then there is a no use for this okay so these are all clean bearish order block right and on the third form you can see here if you are marked here this is order block as i mentioned here this is a not proper order block same thing is here correct and then where is our order block is here why because this candle took out the previous candle high and this looks a uh, similar correct so this become our high probability zone for the sell and some people mark this blue box this is not order block and that was the main reason then most of the time your entry did not uh, tap here before the sell and sometime what happen market push higher okay and tap this zone and then push downside but you are still waiting for the sell here and then you miss the good trade right so this order block is not valid this candle is a valid and that's why this is our main order block correct now little bit uh, down you can see there is another bullish candle before the sell so we can mark this is a order block this is a correct or not absolutely not why because it took did not took any liquidity from the previous high and second thing there is no imbalance correct that's why this is a un, that's why this is a invalid order block if imbalance is available here then also this is also invalid why because it did not take any previous candles high right so this one is not a valid order block right here which is here correct so this one is not a valid order block okay so these are scenario in a bearish market and same thing apply in a bullish market you have to understand two three things only first thing market must be taken out the previous high or low i'm talking about the candlestick okay and second thing candlestick color is not matter okay in this point you can see last buying candle if you are trying to uh, catch this move okay then most of the traders mark this as a blue candle as a bearish order block but this is not as i told you this become our high probability order block is here because it took out the previous candle high and this is a last buying candle actually which took out the previous candle high and then pushed down side okay so we will mark this as a high probability order block correct so this is a scenario in a bearish order block terms and same thing apply in a bullish market now let me show you exactly what happening on the live chart so as you can see here market was bullish and then what happened market take a reversal and break the structure and after break this structure what we are expecting we are expecting for the sell because market turn bullish to bearish so in this case you can see this is our main low is here and why i did not mark this because this is a equal low which is act like a liquidity that's why i did not mention here so this is a liquidity point and then market break the structure so main thing is to identify the order block correct so market break the structure then we are looking for the sell 
after break this structure you can see we have a multiple order block is here okay first order block is here and the second order block is here and third order block is here okay and fourth order block is here so in this case you can see these are four order blocks and most of the traders get confused here which order block they should use for the buy and sell okay so in this case which order block you should use most of the traders use aggressive order block because it break the structure okay and some patients trader use fibonacci tool to identify premium and discount price okay and some people sell on the extreme okay so in this case you can see market did not react here not here and not here and here and market react only this order block why this order block is work what is the reason behind it let me show you exactly what is the main reason to work this order block because between the four order block only one order block is working what is the reason okay look at the left side if i mark here on the top uh, i will start from here as i mentioned in our starting that order block must be taken out the high or low to become a high probability order block so you can see market did not taken out the any high which is actual high is here market did not taken out any high then what happened this order block create and this is a low probability order block there is a no value without liquidity correct and same thing happen here market taken out the previous liquidity but market did not create imbalance and this one is already filled by this big okay so there is a no value also now switch on this order block you can see market completely sweep this liquidity correct and after sweep this liquidity there is a proper imbalance and sweep the order block sorry sweep the previous high and now you can see proper valid setup for the sell and on this extreme point you can see our recent high is here candle here okay in this case you can see market did not sweep this high but generally market create bullish candle and before the sell but this is a not high probability price must be taken out the liquidity before the sell that's why this is a useless for you okay that so in this four order block this order block is high probability why because it stick out the liquidity correct so now you can see after break this structure you have to focus on the liquidity that's why i mention in every topic in every video liquidity liquidity is a main thing in a smart money concept once you identify trend and then identify the liquidity then you will get high probability setup because correct structure and liquidity equal to high probability setup so in this case same thing happen here market break the structure and then what happen this is a smart money trap this one is also smart money and some people miss this entry but move actual happen here you can see why this happen because market need liquidity before the downside so in this case this order block taken out the previous high and this order block become our high probability order block for the sell like this just below it right so you can get 18r okay and this is a not applicable here this thing applicable on the every point most of the time okay not 100% but most of the time you can see here this order block is here even this is a single move but you can see market taken out this previous candle high okay and there is a proper imbalance correct then you can see how market react here okay every time once market broke the structure and create a uh, order block then you have to wait for the liquidity sweep order block okay so in this case liquidity sweep and then 
close flow it and then create order block and this act like inducement and push downside these are equal low correct and same thing happen here you can see market break the structure is here this is a minor structure correct these are minor structure then what happen market taken out this liquidity is here and this become our new order block okay and then market push downside so these thing apply in every time frame in every uh, like both direction like bullish and bearish okay if there is no liquidity sweep then very highly chances your order block of fail like here you can see this is a proper order block and some people mark this as a order block but why it's not work because market did not sweep the liquidity press must be sweep the liquidity to confirm and valid a high probability order block so this is a scenario first scenario let me explain you one more example to you then you can understand more clearly this is a bullish market as you can see market pushing upside creating higher high i'm not talking about the entry types i'm just talking about the order block to identify the order block that which is high probability order block correct so you can see in this bullish market look at this point here market break this structure and create new high and after break this structure what we are expecting we are expecting price go higher to tap the order block so after break this structure where is our order block first order block is here okay and some aggressive traders looking for buy here but in this order block there is no liquidity sweep that's why this is our useless for you okay why because price must be taken out the high or low in this case there is nothing taken out the low before they go higher correct so this is not uh, usable for you okay now let's switch into the on a little bit downside so this one is a another order block and below this we can see there is one more order block is here okay so you can see on this point you can see liquidity market taken out this liquidity and this one is also taken out the previous low here okay if you can see here at this point market taken out the liquidity and same thing apply here market taken out the liquidity so which order block you should use in this case you have to use the extreme if same thing apply in a between of this move uh, for example here if market taken out the liquidity is here and this is unmitigated then you have to wait for the mitigation on the extreme if there is already mitigated here then you can choose this order block for the buy correct these things are uh, you can see in a rare case okay so you have to choose extreme in this case when you can see multiple sweep the liquidity then you have to choose extreme correct and if extreme is already mitigated then you can use for the buy correct and then what happen you can see exactly market break the structure okay and then you can see this order block is work why this one work because it took out the previous candle low is here correct so this order block is working here and same thing apply here market again break the structure upside and this order block is also working here and this become our also liquidity sweep correct and same thing apply here at this point market again break the structure i'm just showing you exactly that how order block actually work and how we can identify the correct order block i'm not talking about the structure just i'm not talking about the entry types okay so you can see at this point this order block is also work why because it's have a proper imbalance and this one is also taken out the previous low is here correct so that's why this order block is high probability order block market gave a reaction and push higher and in this case you can see market again break the structure is here 
okay and then what happened you can see market taken out this minor structure is here okay if you can see here correct so after taking out this low previous candle low this order block become our high probability order block for the buy correct and this here we can buy so same thing apply on every point and in a both direction in a bullish market and a bearish market okay and after break this structure here we can see okay this one is our zone because it took out the previous candle low is here okay and why i did not choose this one because it did not taken out the any low okay and some people mark this is a order block and they are still waiting for the mitigation and they miss the trade but actual move happen here because market taken out this liquidity is here and push higher and then came back downside and mitigate this zone and push higher these are all very very advanced thing i know uh, some people are uh, I know it's take a lot of time to understand this thing but this video is a really important and really powerful to you and this video can open your mind and open your eyes that how we can identify the where is the high probability order block for the buy and sell correct so i hope you understand a lot of new thing in this video and please like and share and subscribe the channel if you are new and if you are thinking that this video can help you then you can we share this video in our friend circle and see you later in the next video and thank you so much guys watching this video